These new qualifications are very well respected and received by higher education and universities and they're, uh, they're described as applied general qualifications which means that they have some external assessment built into it. In the IT suite we have uh, qualifications going from certificate which would be half an A-level all the way up to extended diploma which is the equivalent of three A-levels. And in those suites, there are a number of uh, mandatory and optional units, but they're all fully nested, so it gives colleges uh, the opportunity to give students larger size quals or smaller size quals to fit. The computing suite is equally uh, complete in terms of uh, all the way down from half a uh, A-level size up to three A-level size and in the same way has a mixture of external assessed and internally assessed units and uh, mandatory and optional. It's fair to say too of our previous generation of qualifications, those are the ones with 100% internal assessment, are still being made available all the way through to 2023 and they're in the diploma 2A level equivalent size and the extended diploma which is 3A level equivalent. So if that's uh, more fitting for your candidates, that's also an option. So across, across the level three, uh, BTEC nationals in IT and computing, very wide range to select from. In recent times, Roughly 100,000 students each year have progressed to higher education having taken a BTEC. Roughly two-thirds of those have been BTEC only students. One-third have taken BTEC alongside A-levels. Over 99% of universities, that means there's one that doesn't, 99% accept BTEC nationals as meeting their entry requirements, either taken alone or alongside other A-levels. So the new suite of BTEC Nationals Level 3 have been very well recognised and received by uh, universities and they understand the rigour and the challenge that these qualifications have built into them and they know that they're going to get good students who will be successful degree uh, candidates.